Ian McCartney has been the Labour MP for Makerfield for the last 20 years. Although born in Lennox Town in eastern Berkshire, Ian has lived in Wigan for nearly 30 years. He was a councillor for Wigan Borough from 1982 and was elected to Parliament in 1987. Ian held a number of positions in opposition and was a spokesperson on health, employment, education and social services. In government, he entered the Cabinet as Minister Without Portfolio and Party Chair in April 2003 and is now the Minister of State for Trade with additional responsibilities in the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. Ian underwent major heart surgery last year and tries to keep in shape with long walks around London, often rising as early as 5am. I managed to catch up with him one morning on a seven mile trek from his home in Vauxhall, crossing the Thames over Tower Bridge and arriving at his desk in the Foreign Office by 7.30. Coming up to his 20th anniversary as Makerfield MP, I asked him which of his achievements he was most proud as he looks back on his career. One of the ones that I had made my most lasting effect was uh, the campaign that uh, I ran with the Wigan Evening Post to change the law to ban dangerous folk furniture in Britain. We had, had some terrible cases of children dying in the, the Platte Bridge Lee and Wigan areas over a period of months. And it became obviously that they, they could likely have been saved if the form of the furniture had been safe. So I made it uh, my first campaign, becoming MP in 1987. By 1988, I had the law changed, banning dangerous form furniture. And uh, in a few months' time, the 20th anniversary of that change will take place. And it will save 14,000 lives and tens of thousands of children who have been injured and perhaps injured for life are alive and well. And uh, that was through Wiggins and Post and the fire service, who I want to thank. And uh, you can't put a price in saving one person's life, but 14,000 will. Uh, and there's lots of other campaigns uh, with the paper. We campaign against the abduction of children. And uh, now children in Britain have passports. And that's to help save children being abducted. And this moment in time, you know, these minds are on what's happened in Portugal. Uh, uh, children in Britain in the 1980s. We're getting abducted almost every day out of the Britain, taken to other parts of the world, usually when there's a dispute between partners that broke up, uh, and that wasn't acceptable. So we've reduced it dramatically by introduction of it. So local campaigns run locally can actually make a difference internationally. And I think the other ones are creation the national minimum wage and also pension credit. Both of, both of those events have taken millions of people out of poverty. And there were both campaigns we started in Wigan again. We campaigned for national minimum wage in Wigan uh, because Wigan had a real serious problem with people working in Wigan in the 1980s for a pound an hour. And that was just totally unacceptable, slave labour. And so we won the argument for national minimum wage. After 20 years, I asked Ian if he still has the passion to serve as an MP and how long he would like to continue to stand in Makerfield. I can honestly say I'm as enthusiastic now about public service when I was 15, when I was 15 years of age, when I was watching everything my mum and dad did, working in local council, working and representing people in the workplace, as both did. Uh, I'm as as, as long as the people of Makerfield want me. I'm acutely aware I'm accountable to people and I know it's a labour seat, that gives me an extra special responsibility not to take people for granted. I'm in this job and it's a fantastic job and I have to keep pinching myself every morning I get out of bed. I'll have to, by the end of this today I'll do a small thing or a big thing that will help people and that's a wonderful opportunity. I see things and do things that many people don't have the chance to do and it's for one reason, because people go and vote for me and so I've got an obligation. So. I'm enthusiastic, I still want to see things, there are a lot of things have happened in, to benefit people in Makerfield, there's a lot more still to be done, there are a lot more re things to do in our schools, our health service, uh, our jobs, our environment, you know, when I've got breath in my body I'll, I'll argue the corner for people, obviously at some time yeah, somebody else has to have a chance, and that's another thing, I, I'm not one of those people that will go into my 100 years of age, I, I do actually think I got a chance to represent Makerfield very young because somebody else had to move on. But for the moment, if they want me to stay, I'm delighted to stay.